hello guys I'm actually going to show you today how you can move files from one location to another location and your program that you use you know, with those files will still be working perfectly as normal and uh, this works for any kind of file really I mean texture files map files program files or you know files for a game or the entire game itself okay I'm gonna just use Lava Mortis because it's quick and easy, you know. Okay, right click on Lava Mortis, say properties, or on any program you use, you know. And then you say you go to where the file is, where the file or program is located. Alright. Pros local files. Okay. Here's the program. I can either choose, I can move each of these files individually. Or I can move the entire folder. If it's a big game or program you're, remo or you're moving, and maybe you want to move it to an SSD, but you don't want to reinstall the whole program. You still want it to be, to be basically exactly where it was, where the installation file, where the, where the installation file, sorry, <laughs> you know, says where it should be. Okay, so you can either move individual files. Or you can move the whole folder. I suggest moving the whole folder. It just, you know, makes things less complicated. So I will go now to Common, where Lava Mortis is located. I will then right-click on it and say Cut. And then I will now go to my, well, you know, location wherever I want to want to move it to. I'm going to move it to L. I'm going to move it to, inside L. There's a folder called Games. Alright, I'm going to paste it over here in games. It's on a separate hard drive. Originally, it was located on F, you know, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Now, if I launch it right now, the game won't work, obviously. And obviously, you, 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 know, you shouldn't be in the game in the first place while you're doing this. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and say. Pick link source. Then I'm going to go back to where it's originally located, well, well was, and I'm going to say right click and I, I'm going to say drop as symbolic link. It's going to ask you yes or no, just say yes. So now you will actually see Lava Mortis has this little shortcut thingy located there. Even if you go into it, you will be taken actually to here. If I do something in here, create a folder, it's going to magically pop up in here because you're actually linked with this, you know, with this folder, you're linked to this one, to where you moved it to. All right, I'm just going to delete this thing. So that means if your so software, you know, gets an update or your program or games gets an update, the updates will still work as normal. They're just going to be in reality located in your other hard drive, wherever you move it to. This works great if you have, you know, recently installed an SSD in your system, and you want to, you know, move a big program like I don't know, Elite and Dangerous or Battlefield 4 or whatever program, you know, maybe maybe uh, Autodesk or whatever. But you don't want to reinstall the program and mess around with keys and all that, so now you can actually just move the program to the other hard drive and it will still function as normal. So now I can actually show you, I can click on play. Remember, Lava Mortis is now located on the other hard drive. And voila, game works. Just quickly going to close it. Alright, now I'm going to show you how you can then, you know, how you can actually put the game back to where it was. Alright, you go to your you know original location where this little shortcut looking thing is basically the symbolic link. Alright, click on it, shift delete, say yes. Alright, it's permanently deleted now. So maybe you didn't want to do that, then you just do it again. Right click on it, say pick link, pick link source, and then right click on here and say drop as symbolic link. But if you want to move the files back, like I said. Right click on it, just say cut, and then right click in you know the original location and just say paste. And voila, 
your program will be back to where it was and it will be working normally again. But it, not that it would not work normally where you, you know, drop the symbolic link. So, okay, guys, I hope you like this video and uh, subscribe, please, and enjoy your day.